Good day, first world travelers, and welcome back. I am in Mexico City. More specifically, I am in the Coyacan area in the south of the city. And this video is all about my first impressions of Mexico City. I've been here for about a week, so I wanted to share with you some of the things I've learned, some of the things I've seen, and some of the things I've experienced over the last week. So without further ado, let's go. So I'm sitting in this lovely, quiet, calm area in the middle of Coyacan after just eating some amazing food. You can check that out in my video from Coyacan which you will see soon. Um, you know, first th firstly, I just want to clarify a couple of points. Um, I have been to Mexico before. However, <laughs> this was a three hour day trip to Tijuana from San Diego. Therefore, I don't really class that as a trip to Mexico. I'm now in Mexico City. I class this as my first time in Mexico City. And also, the second thing is that I have been to Guatemala, Belize, and also six countries in South America. So in terms of some aspects of Latin America, I'm kind of familiar, I guess. Um, and you know, one thing I thought before I came here was, you know, is it gonna be similar to my experiences I had before in South America and Central America? Sorry about the noise. Hopefully he's gonna shut up in a minute. Okay, I think he stopped. So yeah, there are many aspects of Mexico City so far that I can kind of remember from the past when I was in those other countries that I mentioned. Um, you know, just the general feel of it, what the people are like, the food, etc. But you know what? My first kind of impressions of Mexico City is it is different. Obviously, it's a different country. Um, yes, it's a Spanish-speaking country, but you know, it's a different country, so there are going to be differences. And right from the moment, actually, let's talk about people first of all. So, you know, right from the moment I got to the airport, I was, I guess, blown away by how welcoming and friendly everyone was. Yes, obviously they're at an airport and they've got to be like that, but, you know, um, as you may know, I've been, spent a lot of time in Japan over the last year and anyone who's been to Japan will know the level of politeness and friendliness and helpfulness and that sort of thing. So I think I'm a bit of a travel snob in that respect because, um, you know, I kind of expect everyone else to be like that. I have very high standards. and. From my experiences before in Latin American countries, it wasn't to the level of Japan. I'm not saying that anywhere should be like Japan because Japan is Japan. This is Mexico. Um, but overall, you know, people-wise, I find everyone absolutely awesome. The lady that I'm staying with in my Airbnb is brilliant, top-notch. She's wicked, I love her. And, you know, other people that I've met have been brilliant. Um, the second thing is about language. So, th and this is a strange one actually because having spent a lot of time in Japan and in other Asian countries, I to be honest, I never really had a major issue with, with language, um, you know, but here it's strange because, you know, I do have some level of basic Spanish. I'm, you know, I'm not going to lie. I can't have a conversation in Spanish. I know, you know, the basics, hello, goodbye, thank you, good afternoon, and all the different types of food. But in terms of actually forming a conversation with someone, at the moment, I really struggle with it. Things are coming back to me. So when I hear people say words as I'm walking past, I'm, I'm like, ah, I remember what that means. Um, so hopefully one day I'll be able to actually build a sentence. But back to my point, you know, I, I feel a bit guilty actually that I don't know as much Spanish as I should, if you know what I mean, you know. And it's strange because in countries in Asia, um, you know, naturally you'd think you wouldn't have a clue and you would really struggle. But I think the difference is in those countries because the locals there, it's, it was obvious that I wasn't Japanese, obvious that I wasn't Thai, etc. Um, and I'm not saying I'm Mexican, because clearly I don't look Mexican, but um, you know, I do get people talking Spanish to me because you know, I look European, potentially I am from Spain or somewhere in Europe, um, and would have some knowledge of Spanish. <laughs> oh, look at the wind. Okay, you'll have to excuse the hair, I'm long over it. Um, yeah, so just on language, you know, I'm sure I will feel a lot better going forward because I am here for like three months. Um, and I guess what it is, I've said it before and I'll say it again, language is a really important thing when it comes to feeling comfortable in a country. Um, and I guess the first few days I felt a bit, you know, oh God, where am I? Because I was really struggling to converse with people. I'm getting a bit better at it now. You know, it comes in time, I think, as your confidence grows. It sounds stupid, but after all the countries I've been to, but I still get like that. And the next thing, I guess, is about variety. So, um, you know, I guess me and probably everyone has preconceived ideas about someone like Mexico City. Um, but, you know, I've been pleasantly surprised in terms of the level of variety in terms of the different areas, because, um, you know, it is a very large city, obviously. Um, many places like Coyacan, where we are now, were originally like a town in their own right, but they've been kind of swallowed up by um, Mexico City as it's grown over the years. 
and um, you know you've got so much variety this is different from Condesa it's different from Roma it's different from the central area and it's different from all the other areas I could go on forever um, so I guess it just keeps it interesting um, I, the problem I have with a lot of places I go to and you may be the same is that um, you kind of lose that amazingness when you go to places but here I honestly feel like oh for f right I keep having to stop because of the dancing there's like a girl banging a stick thing um, and dancing to it I'm sure what that's about but overall yeah the variety thing is brilliant when I compare it to cities like Tokyo Kuala Lumpur Singapore which are very I guess tasteless in a lot of ways and everywhere is the same um, at least in my opinion um, Mexico City is very different there's lots of different areas and it's very interesting to explore I guess um, the last thing I want to talk about I mentioned it already preconceived ideas a lot of people have preconceived ideas about Mexico um, I guess particularly in some countries like America you know Donald Trump the wall etc um, and in general Latin American countries that you know oh they're poor countries third world countries that, you know they don't earn a lot of money not good economy that sort of thing um, but I would say if you're gonna come to Mexico forget all that make up your own mind make up your own opinion you know um, yes there are problems but I think it's often um, the way Mexico is portrayed in Western media is incorrect um, so far I have not had any issues I've never had any issues in Latin American countries South American countries um, so yeah don't listen to what people say make up your own mind that's a really important thing about travel life I think and lastly just two things I want to mention together which I absolutely love which I will be doing videos about coming up number one the food out oh my god it's amazing I've never been to a country where I literally could eat everything you know if you've been watching my channel for a while you will know that I'm ridiculously fussy with food and I often vomit <laughs> like I did once and uh, but here absolutely amazing I've always loved Mexican food um, similar similarly with Italian you know lots of meat lots of I'm gonna say vegetables I hate vegetables but in Mexican food I like vegetables um, and a lot of spice and bread it's literally heaven and the second thing is the subway I got the subway for the first time today that's another thing that people have preconceived ideas about that it's unsafe you'll get pickpocketed yes there is that element of it you do have to be streetwise and careful that sort of thing but I think um, the fact that it's 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 modern it's um, efficient on time inexpensive is brilliant and you know if you're worried about pickpocketing and things like that you know I don't think Mexico City is a place to come to for maybe a first-time traveler I think you need to have a bit of an experience with being streetwise and being a bit wary and knowing what to look out for so um, all in all that is my first impressions of Mexico City after a week very positive I'm really glad that I came here um, I was originally going to go the other way towards China and Kazakhstan but screw that so before I completely get blown away by the hurricane I'm really hoping there isn't too much wind effect on this video otherwise I will jump off a cliff um, yeah I hope you have found this useful if you're coming to Mexico for the first time if you've been to Mexico or maybe you are from Mexico it would be great if you could tell me your opinion down below do you agree with what I'm saying particularly about things like the media and that sort of stuff as a Mexican citizen what do you think um, you know what do you feel about tourists as well you know how do you feel about tourists coming to Mexico from maybe other countries like USA particularly and Britain Australia places like that you know tell me all about it you know I'd love to know in the comments so um, thanks for watching don't forget to leave a comment like this video or even dislike it and subscribe because there's literally a million Mexico videos coming up I'm here for three months it's gonna be epic thanks for watching I'll catch you later